Hey guys, today as you can see, I'm on the garden, as today is the update day, and it just released, or didn't just release, it was a while ago. But I've been grinding all day, and I wanted to go over how I've been building my farms and some of my recommendations. One little trick before we get started, especially for Iron Man players, is that crops only grow when it's daytime on the garden island. And usually you could use just a day saver for that. But as you can see in the recipe, it takes sunflowers, which are only produced by a flower minion. And so, gained on Iron Man, that's like 20 or 30 mil. If you're on the garden early on, you don't have that money. So, what you can actually do is make a night saver. I scrounged all of the resources for this information. And a night saver set to sunset actually still counts as day. And so your crops will regrow just as fast as, you know, if you had a day saver set to day. First, I want to start with the wheat farms, the carrot farms, potato farms. You know, they're all basically the same thing. And these, these kind of suck when you build the preset. Basically, there's slabs all across where this water is. There's no way to kind of get between the lanes and you have to make it yourself. It kind of sucks. And honestly, I think farming it row by row is really just a bad way of farming it. It's kind of okay on your island because you have these long rows of wheat and potatoes that are 160 blocks long. And you know, you at least have kind of time while flying across or running across to, you know, not do anything, but eventually you're having to do a 180, you know, it, it's kind of annoying to farm that way. And so uh, this is the system I've been using. Uh, I have these little water channels, and basically what you do, you get your speed very low, as you can see, to the left of my hotbar, I have 114% speed, which is about as low as I can get it. You might be able to go a little higher, but this is, you know, just what I've been doing. And basically, you have a reach about of about four blocks, and all you do is that you press either A or D, and, you know, left click, and you hit literally all of the crops, and you just have to hold this for, you know, a bit. You know, it's it's a lot less, uh, it's a lot more brainless than, you know, having to run across or fly across and then 180 at the end. And basically, once you get to the end of this, uh, you just turn around and you, uh, you know, farm this side. And then basically, you go back over here, you know, farm this side, farm that side. Yeah, it's very mindless, and it's, you know, easy. It's an easy change to make. All you do is just dig out these channels. Next, I want to go over the melon and pumpkin farms. And uh, you can see I made a pretty standard design. You know, I there's actually two different ways you can make this. Personally, the way I always kind of farmed melons or... So I had these two slabs on each side, and, you know, with a proper amount of speed, you just go in between like this. I actually just got melon armor recipe, but I've seen... Okay, you know what? One second, let me uh, get my speed up a little so this looks, you know, normal. Uh, what I've seen is people take out a row of slabs, or they don't have any slabs. I just think they look nice. But you can kind of farm it like the way you do sugarcane, where you kind of use this as... Uh, you know, a backbone to run up against when you just hold one angle with your mouse and press A and D or S and D. And so you kind of just have an angle here. You obviously want more proper speed. I'm just doing a rough example. But basically you can farm it like this and then you would take out this row of slabs as well. And you, you, you know, you're pressing S here. And then you can maintain basically the same angle and hold D there. And so basically, if you remove kind of this side of slabs or you just don't have any slabs at all, that's also a good way to farm. And, you know, I'll probably just switch over to that eventually. But this is just why I built for now. If you take away anything from this guide, is that you should always replace these terrible cobblestone walls. They look pretty good, but you can see they're made out of these stairs and slabs either place blocks on top of this i can't do it here because i haven't unlocked this plot either place blocks on top of it so you can't actually run over it or just replace it make it look a little better 
Next, I want to go over the cocoa bean farm and the sugarcane farm. They're both basically the same, you know. There's kind of... <laughs> there aren't many ways to build a cocoa bean farm, and there's not many ways to build a sugarcane farm. You basically just have rows of two of the crop, and you kind of just farm through it. Uh, with both of these, uh, that thing I was talking about earlier stays true. Farming like this, you run over into the next plot. You know, it's really annoying. So just replace this wall. And uh, specifically for cocoa beans, I'm going to show you what I did on my island. I think this is a pretty common trick. But you want to use uh, iron doors in order to align yourself better. So, you know, the way you'd farm this, you would just look up, break. I'd eventually come back the other way. I'll be breaking. And then I want to move over to the next place. I can just hold D. I get automatically aligned with this as long as I'm looking somewhat forward. I can just continue to break these cocoa beans with no problem. So I recommend replacing, or not replacing, just putting down these iron doors between the lanes, and it just makes it a lot nicer to farm. And on that note about, you know, tricks I use on my island, uh, it's really good to put alternating uh, slabs here at the ends of your uh, sugarcane farm, because, you know, you're farming this basically... Uh, you know, you're you're at an angle with a certain speed, and you just want to use D and S. You can see I can kind of just continue to do that, and I really don't have to do much of anything. Let's so say you want these uh, slabs just stopping you from, you know, going over into the next lane when you don't want to. With the mushroom and cactus farms, I haven't actually put them down on my island yet. I don't think I have mushrooms unlocked yet, actually. But I have seen examples of them, and I don't think there's much you want to change besides replacing these walls, as always. And then for nether wart, you can actually use a very similar design philosophy with these uh, wheat and potato and carrot farms, where you just have these channels of, they don't have to be filled with water, but you basically just imagine this is soul sand and that's nether wart, and you can farm them in the same exact way. Uh, I mean... My speed's a little high, and I don't know why I was breaking that with a melon dicer, but yeah, it works in the exact same way. The general consensus is that it takes somewhere between two and three uh, plots to have infinite of a farm on the garden. And so I actually have a good example here with my wheat and carrot farm, or actually potato farm. If I just destroy these blocks here and place blocks in these channels, this effectively becomes one big farm. You could technically place more crops here, but I probably wouldn't bother. But, you know, these diagonal plots, which, you know, you need if you want to have, uh, you know, farms are connecting. They're pretty cheap, actually. They take 16 compost, which, you know, it doesn't take super long in the composter. But that's a good way you can make an infinite farm in the garden without having to build up on top of your other plots and do a bunch of annoying stuff. This way, you just make one preset, you can copy it over to another place, put crops in it, break these blocks, and you have an infinite farm. That's basically all I wanted to say in regards to the farms and the designs, but just a couple things to keep in mind. First, you always want to be doing these things, uh, you know, it might be a little annoying sometimes, but you can switch out the, the crops pretty easily, and, uh, you know, they give copper, and actually, garden experience and farming experience and skyblock experience make sure to always look in this place i've unlocked a bunch of these npcs just by getting the garden level requirement and then talking to them and so i'm pretty sure uh you know each unique visitor you get is skyblock xp and also you can get uh cool stuff like the fairy which gives you a fairy soul which i just got which is very nice i'm a little backed up right now because i've been recording this and uh I got serious, which uh, is a little daunting, but uh, yeah, keep that in mind. Another thing to keep in mind is to make sure your composter is running all the time. You know, compost is worth a lot. It's sometimes given to the NPCs out here, and you can use it for uh, getting more plots. It's pretty cheap. I found uh, really good things to use to fill up the composter. If you're on Iron Man, at least, uh, Enchanted Sugar Gain works really well. I have a bunch of oil barrels from powder grinding that I can put in here, or you could just buy biofuel. Uh, I've heard the enchanted melon blocks are really cheap on Bazaar for organic manner, 
that you could do that. But also, it's something I've been kind of bad about. Uh, you know, you you unlock different crops as you uh, level up. Something like cocoa beans, I really don't care about harvesting more of right now. But you can see, you can get any crop to tier 10 within a couple of minutes as long as you have the farm down. So, at the bare minimum, you really should be uh, just putting down a plot full of this stuff, farming it for a tiny, tiny bit, just to get that Garn XP, a little Skyblock XP. You can come back to it later if you want to, but, you know, the Garn XP is really nice, just for unlocking new crops, new visitors, Skyblock XP. Yeah. Well, that's basically gonna wrap it up for today. Thank you for watching. I hope, uh, you know, I gave you some nice insight or at least a tip or something to keep in mind uh like and subscribe makes me feel very happy when people do that uh and makes me create more content which you know i hope you want from me so thank you for watching and have a good day